Hello everyone, this is Sayyad Sagheer Ahmad. In this video, we will see funny mnemonics or tricks to remember the classification of antidepressant drugs. These tricks are helpful to remember complete classification without any confusion. Try to practice this mnemonics while memorizing the classification. So, let's get started. Antidepressant drugs. When a person is depressed, he may show number of symptoms. Among them, remember these four common symptoms that is regret, trouble, sadness and affright. Remember regret, trouble, sadness and affright. By knowing these four common symptoms, you should able to remember complete classification of antidepressant drugs with no confusion. So, regret start with R and R for reversible inhibitors of monoamine oxygenase A, T for tricyclic antidepressants, S for selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and A for atypical antidepressants. The first category of antidepressant drug is reversible inhibitors of MAOA. Reversible. Here, remember, river. You know the names of many rivers. In this case, remember two names. One is Mahanadi, another one is Kaveri. Mahanadi start with a letter M and M for maclobamide and Kaveri start with letter C and C for chlorgaline. Next, second category of antidepressant drug that is tricyclic antidepressants. Again, it is subdivided into Na plus 5 HT reuptake inhibitors. Na means nor adrenaline. 5 HT is nothing but 5 hydroxytryptamine or serotonin. Examples of drugs are amitriptyline and imipramine. Amitriptyline, C N A, nor adrenaline, and drug is amitriptyline. 5 HT, 5 hydroxytryptamine, and drug is imipramine. Naradinolin, amitriptyline, 5 hydroxytryptamine, imipramine. Second subdivision of tricyclic antidepressants are predominantly noradrenaline reuptake inhibitors. Example, nortriptyline and desipramine. See, in the first subcategory, amitriptyline, and here, nortriptyline. There it is imipramine, here it is desipramine. The third category of antidepressant drug, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Remember FFPS. F for phloxetin, again F for phloxamine, P for paroxetin and S for sertraline. Then finally, the last category of antidepressant drugs, atypical antidepressants. You know what is atypical? Atypical is nothing but unusual or you can say not normal. Here, just to think, atypical means a twisted mindset which is not normal. You can remember twisted man mindset, a man with twisted mindset. Remember twisted man mindset when you see atypical antidepressants and here T for trazodone, M for meanserine and again M for mirtazapine. If you like this video then please subscribe and share. Thank you.